Darren, I um, just wanted to show you a quick overview of um, a Sense 3.0 ROM. This is the RC Mix 3D ROM um, with the Kingdom um, base. So basically, this is um, a Sense 3 ROM. This is currently at, um, I think it's version 1.9 that I've got on here. Um, so as you can see, if I restart this here, you get the Sense 3.0 lock screen, which is the little ring here. And um, what you can do with this is you can pull down one of the icons to take it straight to the application which is um, a nice little feature kind of makes life a bit easier if you're going straight to applications you use all the time um, <clears throat> so basically then the key features of this is it's got um, an improved UI um, which basically tries to create a little 3D effect so as you can see then when you turn the actual um, screens you can see it, how things kind of reveal themselves which is a nice effect um, you've also got this carousel feature which basically I don't see any use of but um, it's just a nice little effect there that it um, spins through the um, screens. Um, one of the other things that's nice about this Sense 3 ROM is the new version of the weather. And the weather is um, a much more um, usable app than it is on um, the normal Sense. Um, I'll show you here. and It's got basically a large um, um, pictures and um, moving pictures there and a more detailed version of the weather um, so as you can see which is really nice the good thing is, is this is a live wallpaper as well which is really nice so you can have it on the, um, the background as a live wallpaper so as you can see it's a lot more detailed um, and very useful um, addition you can have that on your lock screen as well in fact on your lock screen um, I can't show you this because unfortunately it keeps showing the sim not inserted screen you can have anything on that lock screen um, such as a clock weather you can even have um, your social um, network updates shown on there and um, what else we got on this you've also got choices of a couple more skins and um, so you have blue sky and also burgundy so when you apply them um, it just kind of gives a tint to the um, colors so you get like a bit of a, a burgundy um, tint when you um, apply this one uh, You've also, for some reason on this, you, you seem to um, have pre-installed a call recorder. Um, I don't know why that is. Seems a bit odd, but um, basically that starts up. And as you can see there, there's the um, weather effect. So I don't, I don't really see the point of a call recorder. I mean, I understand some people might um, have a use for it, but does it really need to be a, a default startup item when um, you start? Um, some of the other differences. So the widgets have changed slightly. Um, so obviously they've kind of a bit more um, polish on them um, and things such as the mail app has been updated as you can see there you can see the burgundy kind of effect you get with that theme um, and the messages um, that so they've all had a good polish and um, a lot nicer looking than the um, sense that we're used to as you can see there as well it's got the um, app draw that's on the current version of most sense which is just the uh, basically scrolls by up and down by a page what else is new so you've also got um, updated versions of maps etc on this um, you've got the camera which I show you here is basically what you used to slightly different in the sense of it allows you to uh, preview an image you've got in the what you took in the corner there and um, I find as well that the camera on this compared to my actual um, normal sense that I use on my normal HD I find this is brighter as well I find the colors are a lot more sharper a lot um, brighter more vivid so it's a the gallery is nice as well so there you go so this is I mean for a sense um, 3.0 ROM. This is I find this very snappy. There's a couple of issues um, which I'll show. Oh, there's a couple of things as well. Is it's got um, versions of HC Sense Watch which you can't load up um, because basically every time it does it says there's an update needed, which obviously I can't update because I've turned off the updates on there. Um, but the main, one of the main problems I've found is that when you try to watch um, videos so if I just show you an example here that's what happens when you watch it in um, 
portrait mode. Uh, sorry, portrait mode. Obviously, if you're doing landscape mode, it works fine. Um, but do it in flip it around, and there you go. So that's the problem at the moment. Um, what else? Do, do, do. You've got obviously you've got um, talk as well, which I'll show you what that looks like. There you go. So again, it's what we're kind of used to and things like that. So um, speed wise, as you can see, it flies through the screens quite um, readily and works really well. You've got this little task manager here. That allows you to kind of keep control of what's going on, so you can close things from there. There you go. So I'll fast stop that. So yeah, it works really well. And like I said, the only major problem I've come across so far is the um, videos, watching videos. But I guess it's not a major issue because you normally would watch videos in landscape mode anyway. Um, the picture and the video quality is very good. Works very well. I like the little dock mode here as well because um, I've got a little dock charger that I have that I, I charge mine through so as you can see you can set this to go on and it allows you to uh, kind of change it to day and night mode which is a nice little thing give you just kind of charging it in your dock and you want to um, have something showing on this screen so that's a nice little feature um, anything else um, you've got a few new clocks in here as well does that again don't you idiot um, so you've got a few new clocks Oh yeah, I have to do it as a widget. Oh, sorry about that. Let's go to a blank screen for you. There you go. Um, so you've got your widgets. So here we go. So you've got clocks here. So you've got your weather clock. Um, but then you've got this one here that allows you to put your status, um, for your social network feed on there. So you've got some nice little, so they're the usual ones. And then you do tend to get a couple of new ones like that there you go, so you've got a couple of new clocks on there which are quite nice it's good to have a little clock there as well because I feel that uh, you're kind of limited to always having seem to have a big clock on your screen, sometimes you just want a little one um, oh it doesn't like that, that's not a good start is it, never mind um, so that's that um, locations is slightly different but I don't really use that so I'm not going to go into detail on that um, power control photo grid here which is just a, a nice little app just to kind of um, display your photos in um, obviously well, grid format there you go so that's a nice uh, there you go so that's quite nice I like that it's a good way of um, showing off some of your pictures um, there's, my, there's monkey there there you go, monkey taking it easy. Uh, so yeah, so all in all, this is a really good ROM, um, fast, snappy. Obviously, there are a few issues here and there, but the updates are quite frequent, and um, it seems to be working quite well for me. Definitely worth giving it a go if you want to experience the um, Sense 3.0 um, experience on your um, H Desire HD. Um, and if there's anything else you'd like to ask, anything you'd like to see, just give us a, a comment, and I'll, I'll look it up for you. Cheers.